हेलो गुड मॉर्निंग ऑल माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स आई होप यू आर डूइंग वेल एट होम टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट चैप्टर थ्री क्लास एट साइंस पार्ट वन बाय योर साइंस टीचर सोनाली ठक्कर आई होप यू विल एंजॉय discuss that we are going to talk about chapter 3 class 8 science which is synthetic fiber and plastic so the first ppt or the first slide we will discuss about the synthetic fibers and for the next ppt we will discuss about the plastics now in last year like last previous year you have already studied about the natural fibers so can you recall those information they were cotton jute and silk even you have learned about the sericulture that is the production of silk from the silk moth you might be remembering this you know that the jute you obtain is from the plant and the cotton that you get from the cotton seed so this we had discussed previously about the natural fiber but this year we are going to discuss about the synthetic fiber in very much detail let's see which are they so as i introduce earlier that the synthetic fiber that we are going to discuss for this slide they are quite opposite to the natural fibers as you know natural fiber are obtained from the natural material or you can say they are obtained either from the insect animal or they are obtained from the plant source so all of this wool silk jute cotton this all comes from this all come from the natural sources so they are called the natural fibers and whereas the synthetic fibers are the one which are prepared with the chemical procedure or they are prepared under factories and the human super uh, supervision so this sort of fibers are called the synthetic fibers now you might be surprised that surrounding you you might find so many of synthetic fibers but you are not able to identify them so after this lesson and the deep understanding you may be able to identify any synthetic fiber which is in your surrounding now the synthetic fibers are made by the humans that is why this are called the synthetic or the other name is man made fibers a synthetic fiber is also a chain of small units joined together as you can see in this figure there are small units now you already know about the u pins yes so you just arrange all the u pins in the sequence so what kind of structure that you find the same kind of structure you will find with the synthetic fiber small units of chemical are connected in the chain to form a synthetic fiber now each small unit is actually a chemical substance now that chemical substance is also called the polymer that we are going to discuss for our next slide in detail so basically a synthetic fiber is the first characteristic it has is it is produced in the factories it is prepared by the humans also they are chain of small units joined together and this small units are nothing but the chemical substances now many such small units combine to form the large single unit which is known as polymer so here the question may be arise like what is polymer like how does it look so polymer are the small small chemical substances they are branch link or they are linked in a sequences either they are straight or either they are or they are in the branch form and then they form a huge structure in terms of synthetic fiber so as we know that uh, we always say that the tissues are made up of cell so cell is the functional unit similarly here you can say that the functional unit of synthetic fiber is polymer so polymer is the smallest unit that combine together and form the synthetic fiber now 
in this chapter majorly we are going to focus on the three types of synthetic fiber the first is rayon second is nylon and the third is polyester and acrylic now polyester and acrylic they are also they also term as the synthetic fiber and from this fibers we make so many useful household items so this three rayon nylon and polyester we are going to focus to this three and we will discuss about them in much detail now this chapter is all about information so you have to memorize each and every slide and each and every key point which is given here so first i will start with the rayon now you can see in the figure what you can see here is a carpet can you see some sort of curtain or you can see some cloth like sari so you might have got an idea that this rayon we are using or this rayon is specially prepared for making carpets curtains and sari now uh, let me just give you an example sometime the pure silk you might be remembering that we get from the silk moth the procedure was quite lengthy and it was so expensive so that that not all people can afford a pure silk and as you know silk silk is very shiny and smooth in the texture the pure silk now uh, let's think about the people who cannot afford a pure silk or raw silk so as a alternative of that silk the man made synthetic fiber which has been developed is called the rayon so even though if i or you or any person cannot afford a pure silk because pure silk sari may go in thousands but the sari prepared we using rayon may be in the hundreds so you can see the clear difference that man made synthetic fibers they are just a copy or they are look alike to the natural fibers they give texture like a natural fiber but in terms of economy in terms of price they are much much cheaper so that they are widely appreciated and they are famous so let's talk about the rayon now now fabric obtained from the silk fiber was very costly i just discussed to you why it was costly because we get the silk from the silk moth so caterpillar has to grow on the mulberry leaves and then it require a entire moth cycle or uh, it it require entire cycle to get that amount of silk so that's the reason pure silk or the raw silk is quite costly but it's it is very beautiful and that texture is fascinating fascinated by everybody so everyone would love to have silk sari or silk kurta on the different occasions like diwali or wedding or some birthdays so attempts were made to make silk artificially so what the people thought is like they thought if the person cannot afford a pure silk and as pure silk we get from the animal product so it is quite a lengthy procedure why can't they make a artificial silk which might exactly look like a silk but it is quite cheaper and can be prepared in the lesser period of time so here there was a invention of rayon now towards the end of 19th century almost 100 years back the scientists were successful obtaining a fiber having properties similar to that kind of silk and that fiber is commonly called rayon this days now you already know that the rayon is the replacement or it is a substitute for the raw silk that doesn't mean that the silk is not available these days yes silk silk pure silk sarees pure silk kurtas they are available in the market but not to forget those kurtas which are made from the pure silk or raw silk they are going to be very expensive so just to cut down on the cost part one can opt for, for the rayon which is just a look like of the silk types of synthetic fiber in that as i discuss rayon and why rayon was in, invented let's talk something more about the rayon that how it is prepared now such fiber was obtained by the chemical treatment of wood pulp so they treat the wood pulp 
such a way that they obtain the fiber which is rayon now you should have a question that ma'am you just said that that synthetic fibers are the man made fiber but here they are preparing rayon with the help of plant source so can't it be come in the category of natural fiber so your question is correct as a raw material they are using wood pulp but they process the wood pulp with so many of chemicals and at the end of those chemical treatment rayon is prepared so reason behind that is because of that reason it is said that because of this reason we can say that that rayon comes under the category of synthetic fibers so my dear student what do we have learned so far that the first synthetic fiber which was invented at the end of 19th century was the rayon which was a look alike of silk which was obtained by the chemical treatment of wood pulp and this fiber was called rayon or also an artificial silk although rayon is obtained from the natural sources which is wood pulp yet it is the man made fiber because it is prepared at the end of chemical procedures it is cheaper than silk and can be woven like silk fibers so we can say that it is the good replacement of uh, it is the good rayon is the good replacement for the silk now one more important property of rayon is you can color it well that means they can be dyed with the beautiful color and so the beautiful designer dresses can be prepared using rayon fibers so rayon can be dyed in a white varieties of color rayon is mixed with the cotton to make bed sheet or mix with the wool to make the carpets so we can say that rayon is the wonderful fiber which is used with the variety of purpose like bed sheets curtains and sometimes even the beautiful ca carpets now the first part has included the most important synthetic fiber which is rayon i hope you have remember its property how it is prepared and where it is been used we'll discuss about the next fibers in uh, next fibers or the another man made fibers for our coming slides